it's my uh, pleasure to introduce the second faculty of medicine to you. Uh, you are probably aware that our faculty is located uh, directly in the capital city of the Czech Republic in Prague. Uh, Ellen will probably confirm that Prague is a very beautiful city and there are uh, many things which uh, make your life here easy, including the transportation, including uh, many parks where you can go for walk or running. There are many culture activities, many interesting places, many museums, theaters, clubs you can visit. So Prague is really good, a uh, good place to live, including the fact that there are four seasons. So cold winter, <laughs> hot summer, and very pleasant spring and rainy autumn, like right now. So if you like rain and uh, you don't have enough experience in Dubai with the rain, Prague is the best place you can go right now. Uh, there are three faculties, medical faculties in the Czech, in Prague, and we are uh, one of them. Uh, we are a relatively small faculty, uh, which means that we have enough space to know each other to uh, meet, uh, to talk, to help uh, students if they have some problems. So uh, this is why I can highly recommend our faculty because we are like a family. We uh, offer uh, several study programs and you will be probably interested in the first one because it's uh, the only one which is taught in English. So general medicine program. It's a master study program, full-time study, which means that you spend 24-7 uh, <laughs> studying and maybe you will find some a uh, few hours to sleep. And it will take, or it takes six years. Uh, first three years uh, are focused on theoretical subjects like uh, anatomy, histology, cell, uh, embryology, bio, uh, physiology, etc. And when you go, uh, when you go through these three years successfully, you continue with the clinical subjects. And uh, you, uh, the theoretical subject doesn't mean that you don't meet any patient. So you will meet the patients from the first or second year during your nursing classes. And you will meet patients several times a week in the third year during your Czech language classes, which take place in the hospital in the third year, and also during, mainly during the subject interaction to clinical medicine, which will help you or te learn, uh, teach you how to ask patients and what to ask patients. We are a small faculty, but we are located in the largest hospital in the Czech Republic, and I think it's also the largest hospital in the Central Europe. The most difficult cases are treated here. We have a huge pediatric department, which is actually uh, at the picture. And uh, I have heard about cases when parents brought their child from Italy or from South Africa to be treated here in Moto Hospital. You can see the hospital from above. You can see that Prague is a very green city. When you look a little bit left, you can see a park. And uh, behind this park, there is a student dormitory. So just one a metro station far from the hospital, like subway station. When you look a little bit right, you will you are not able to see because it's not on, not on the picture. But there is a build, another building completely new building where the theoretical departments are located. So again, very close, just one bus stop far. So uh, Ellen, how, how long does it take to get from Plzeňská to Moto? Oh, like six minutes. That's if you're unlucky, but on a lucky day, you could be from one building to the next in under five minutes. Yeah, when you don't miss the bus, it's, it's very easy. Yeah. Uh, 
our faculty is very proud that we have excellent teachers. We do excellent science. So uh, it will be up to you if you want to become a practitioner like the doctor or if you want to uh, do re some research and become a scientist. So in both cases, we are a good choice. As I said, we have a general uh, medicine uh, pro study program, but with special focus on uh, pediatric disciplines. So when you study neurology, you spend several weeks at the neurology department for adults and also several weeks uh, at the children neurology department. The same thing with, uh, for example, cardiology. We have the best uh, uh, cardiology cardio center for kids. So there are very small babies, just several days old, and they undergo the surgery in our hospital. Uh, if you are interested in leukemia research, again, our scientists from the hemato-oncology clinic are one of the best in the world. And now why to choose our faculty and uh, what's the difference, let's say, between our faculty and other faculties in Prague, like the first and third one. At first, we offer a small number of students. So right now, uh, we have uh, groups of students in the first year around 10 people. So compared to the third faculty, which has, I think, 30 students in one study group, it's very comfortable for students to approach the teacher, ask the questions uh, they, they can have, uh, ask for help if they have um, some problem. Uh, we have students from all over the world. So you will meet students from Middle East, from Japan, from Korea, from the United States, from Britain, Europe, uh, Scandinavia. We have students from Kazakhstan, if I'm, uh, I'm correct. We have students from Macedonia. So students really from all around the world. Uh, our dissection hall is uh, another thing we are very proud of, this is the most modern anatomy department in the Czech Republic. Uh, it's in the completely new building and you will have chance to uh, study anatomy uh, exactly here. So you will go there every week for the dissection training, for anatomy training. Our uh, lecturers are located uh, at both places, so partially in the Motol Teaching Hospital, which is exactly this picture, or in the new building, uh, very close to the faculty, as I said, as uh, very close to the hospital, as I said before. Uh, the tuition fee is uh, around uh, 19,000 euros. And when you uh, belong among the best students, you can get significant uh, tuition fee reduction as a scholarship. When you want to become our student, you have to go through the uh, admission exam. So the exam has two parts. First part is the written test. You can see that it has uh, four parts, biology, physics, uh, chemistry, and logic, logical decision. And uh, it's not possible to replace physics with maths. This is the first question which I usually usually get from applicants. No, we, you need to go through the physics part because we have uh, biophysics as a subject in the first year. Uh, if you receive enough points in the first uh, part of the exam, the written test, you continue to the oral interview. Interview means that you will meet uh, committee, usually three, family, uh, three faculty representatives, you will pick up one of the papers which are on the table and you will see two questions. These questions are not so much uh, about your knowledge so much, it's more about your uh, ability to present your opinion, to offend your opinion, to explain the reasons, uh, to talk, in English, etc., etc. 
uh, usually the questions are related to the ethical problems associated with medicine, for example, abortions or payment for the treatment, which is probably common in your country, but not common in our country. Uh, there are other problems like cloning, for example, and ethical aspects of cloning, uh, ethical aspects of um, artificial insemination, et cetera, et cetera. So these things which are discussed all around us, like in the newspaper, in the TV, so nothing very difficult, but it's good to know uh, to to be aware what's going on uh, on the medicine field. If you want to learn more about the entrance examination or anything related to the study at our faculty, you can look at our website. We have a huge part for applicants where I we try to answer all uh, possible questions which you uh, might have. Or you can contact, of course, uh, Canberra uh, agency, you can contact Ms. Viera, you can contact me. Uh, my email address is on the faculty website, uh, simply student coordinator add and the faculty suffix. And we will uh, we will answer any any question uh, you you might have. And one of the funny things. Uh, we have a pelican as a symbol of the faculty because pelican is a symbol of the hospitality and he is a symbol of medicine since uh, the middle age. So our faculty was founded or a university was founded 1348 and pelican was the symbol of the medical faculty uh, since then. And he helps our students uh, and meet them very often, you can see. We also adopted the Pelican in the Prague Zoo. By the way, Prague Zoo is the sixth best in the world. So when you are free, you can go there and see the Pelican. Uh, as I said, transport is very easy. Uh, I have never been in Dubai, which will probably change in spring because I will be definitely one of the com member committees, uh, committee members. <laughs> uh who will examine you but we have the subway station right uh, in front of the model hospital so if you go to the lecture late you can run let's say 200 meters and you will be uh, at the lecture on time uh we know that it's not easy for new coming students to settle down find friends and uh, start studying without a problem. So this is why we have a freshers week for them, the last week in September, because usually academic year starts at the beginning of October. So the last week of September, uh, our uh, Association of uh, International Medical Students uh, and me uh, are organized, organizing freshers week with Czech language course and many afternoon activities, including team buildings, parties, of course, some pub quiz, et cetera, et cetera. So you can uh, find friends uh, small, uh, fast, you can, you can settle down smoothly and you can focus on your studies. At the end, uh, usually on Friday, there is a white food ceremony, which is a ceremony where also your parents are invited. So if your parents will, uh, will accompany you to Prague, they are also welcome. So they can meet us, they can, talk with us, they can ask any questions they uh, might have, and they can see you uh, receiving your first white coat with the faculty emblem. Uh, you are not forced just study. We have uh, many other activities for our students, usually organized by students themselves. So we have a dancing group, which you can see on the left. We have the uh, choir, if you like singing, we organize uh, annual faculty ball every spring. So again, one of the things or events where you are very welcome. If you prefer sport, not culture, you can become a member of our basketball team or our uh, hockey team. And if you are successful, 
At the end of the studies, you will receive your diploma in Carolinum, which is the oldest building of the university, and you will become a doctor. Uh, as I said, Ames organizes a lot of events for students. Maybe Ellen knows more about it. Uh, anyway, they have a great body program. Actually, Ellen is uh, one of the organizers of the body program. So upper year students help uh, new students with their everyday needs, with their study problems or other problems they might have. And they also organize some events for students at all, at the whole. Uh, you, if you want, you can uh, study or uh, spend some time uh, studying abroad, not in the Czech Republic. You can use Erasmus program. You can use IFMSA internship, summer internships. So you can spend several weeks in Mexico, for example. Uh, there is the address of the faculty and you can see the email address which uh, uh, which is actually Vera's address so one of the ways how to ask us questions if you if you need you can also follow us on Facebook or other social media where we post uh, news uh, what happens what's going on at the faculty and very useful thing you can uh, join us uh, at the online meeting with our upper year students uh, Lenka and Christina and this uh, like yeah this Saturday they will answer applic uh, questions uh, which you probably uh, don't know right now but when you will be like considering what I what we were talking about and what uh, you, you will have probably some other questions. So please find the link on the faculty website. It will be posted on Saturday, not now. Join the meeting and the girls will, will tell you what you need to know. It's uh, at 10 in the morning, Prague time. Okay, our Pelican is a little bit tired, so it's time to, uh, to end uh, my presentation. So thank you very much for for your attention. Uh, with having said that, I will I will uh, conclude the webinar today. Uh, I want to once again thank Vera for putting this together. I want to thank Petra for the fantastic presentation and all the uh, answers that you've given. And uh, Aline and Malar, thank you so much. I understand uh, uh, every minute <laughs> you know counts for you, especially when it comes to the academic year. year. So thank you so much for taking out the time. Uh, I'm, and I'm sure the students benefited a lot from your from your responses.